Welcome to the world of statistics. Statistics is about the collection and summarizing of data from the world around us. At some stage during this term, your teacher will give you an instruction to do a statistical survey. You will use this statistical cycle to do your survey. You will decide on your problem. That is, what are you going to investigate? You will need to plan what variables are you going to compare. You will have to make a decision how are you going to collect your data. You have to do some research and then of course you need to collect it. Once you've collected your data, you'll have to analyze and summarize these data into tables and you will need to work out the mean, the median, the mound, and maybe even the range. You will remember that during this term, you would have done all of those. You will then need to display the data on a graph, once again, using the various graphs that you've done this term. And finally, you will need to comment on these graphs, analyze them, draw conclusions, and you might even think of improvements that you could have made. You will need to follow this statistical cycle in order to do a good investigation. You will start with a problem. You will then go on to a plan. From a plan, you will have to do your data, then display your data, analyze your data, and finally come to a conclusion in terms of what you investigated. This is an example of a simple survey. The problem. I wonder what chocolate bar would be most popular amongst Year 8 students. I will use a sample of Year 8 students. I'm going to ask 20 students what their favourite chocolate bar is. Hmm, let me think. Their choice or variables could be between Mars bar, Crunchy, Picnic, Pinky and Kit Kat. Right, so I went around and I asked 20 Year 8 students, what is your favourite chocolate bar? My survey was conducted using a sample of 20 Year 8 students and I recorded their answers using a tally chart and a frequency table like this one. You would remember how to do these based on your lessons. Once I have collected all the data, I put all the data on a bar graph and I chose to do a bar graph using PowerPoint. This is an example of how I displayed this information on a bar graph. Make sure that you have a heading and that you uh, make your audience aware of what they can find on your graph. Once you have displayed your graph, you can now analyze these graphs. So for example, based on my survey, it became clear that Picnic was the favorite bar amongst the sample, followed by Pinky. The least favorite was Kit Kat. Um, during this analysis, you'll be able to work out the mean, mode, and median of all your numbers. Once again, you would have done this during your lessons in the term. And for the conclusions, you will reflect on the data in your graphs, draw conclusions, and mention improvements that you could have made. I hope you enjoy doing your survey and I certainly look forward to your analysis and interpretation of these wonderful graphs.